Hello everyone, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Um, before I get started, I have something to say. Um, I'm, 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 I guess you can call it venting. Um, so here's the deal. A uh, couple of videos back, I had posted a video where I was doing a pour in the basement and in the background you could hear Juno crying because he was um, up in his crate and he could hear Lucas and I down here and he was upset. So he's in his crate, it was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, it's his bedtime anyway, he goes in his crate to go to sleep. So after I aired that video or posted it up on YouTube, I had someone who I won't mention names because that's just not right, but I had someone comment multiple times and say some not so nice things to me. Now, I have no issue if someone puts out a negative comment about, you know, my art and saying I don't like it or it doesn't look good. That's fine. I don't care about that. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion and everyone is not gonna like what I make. And I'm totally cool with that. Constructive criticism, got it. But the second you start saying, you know what, I'm not gonna swear, but the second you start talking about me personally and saying mean things to me or about my family or about how I do things or about how I treat my dog, that's where I draw a line and that's where, you know, poop hits the fan. So this person was saying that my canvas and my painting was more important than my dog who was crying upstairs. So, and then they said that I should have the dog with me at all times. That way the dog won't cry. Well, for any of you who have been watching Juno's story since the day we bought him, will know that he is a puppy and he is trouble, which means he eats everything. You all know about the sock story and the rock story, about the rocks in his stomach and the sock that he ate and all that. So why on earth would I have him down here where I have canvases, acrylic paint? Like, I mean, there's kids' toys everywhere. My kids have their toys down here. It's their playroom. So Juno has never seen the basement. He never will see the basement, probably until he's much older and well-behaved. So I can't leave him roaming around upstairs on his own because he might chew on something or he might have a potty accident, you know, I don't know. So he goes in his crate. It's a big flipping crate. He's got plenty of space. He goes in there willingly at night to go to sleep because he loves it in there. And the only reason he was crying is because he could hear Lucas and I downstairs chatting away. So all that being said, that person got deleted and removed and blocked from my channel. So that's the kind of stuff I don't tolerate, okay? No one loves that dog more than I do, okay? I have bent over backwards for this dog with vet bills and this and that, and no one loves that pooch more than me. So for someone to turn around and say what I was doing by locking him up is cruel, you can go and take a hike because I'm not the only person out there in the world who puts a dog in a crate when he goes to sleep at night. So he's not in it any other time other than when he's sleeping. During the day when I'm at work, during the day when my husband's at work, he goes over to my in-laws who are retired and he spends the entire day with them running around their house. So that dog has the best life. So I don't wanna hear any other negative stuff about me. Oh, and then she even went on to say some not so nice stuff about me not treating my son properly. She said I was being mean to Lucas in one of my other videos. Yeah, that just threw me right off the deep end. So anywho, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna leave it at that. But for those of you who are watching, if anyone comments about you know my personal stuff or anything like that and is negative or mean or rude, you're out. I, I don't care. And the worst part is she's like, oh, I love your art, but I love dogs more you know, whatever. I don't care if you love my art or not. Say anything negative or bad about me and you're out. So, done, finished. Tonight's pour is going to be, dun, da, 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 a Dutch pour, of course. I have a 10 by 10 canvas, but I'm doing something I have never done before. 
So I am pulling a full Rinska Dutch pour. What do I mean by that? My paints are only mixed with water. I've never done that before. My paints are always mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water, but mainly the main ingredient is Floetrol in all my paints. So this time I decided I'm gonna do what Rinska does and I'm gonna try just water. So I made up these little teeny tiny cups, these little shot glass cups, because you don't need much for a 10 by 10 canvas. So like, I mean, I'm trying to, it's like super watery, which is how it's supposed to be. Um, so <laughs> it'll be interesting to see what happens. Now, if this fails, no worries, because I have the same colors <laughs> in my squeeze bottles here. So I'll just scrape it and then just start again with my regular concoction of Floetrol. But I thought I would try it and even my white. So normally I pour out of this big guy cause he's got Floetrol in it, but nope, not this time. I am using straight white paint. So I have the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White and just water. That's all I put in here. Now keep in mind, Rinska uses really nice high pigmented paints. So they like the expensive stuff. Um, you know, I use Liquitex Basics and Artist Loft, which is like level one. So I know it's not the highest pigmented kind of paint out there, um, but I thought I'd give it a try anyway. So here's my white. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's super watery. So I'm gonna give this a go and I, I'll be amazed <laughs> to see what kind of um, results I get out of this. I'll be super curious. I'm gonna save some of that because I'm gonna need it. I might even need more. So now, if my paint is thin enough, which I'm hoping it is, I should be able to blow it around like Rinska does, um, you know, with her hair dryer as opposed to using the spatula. So let's see <laughs> if I can get that going. Let me see, how thin is my paint? I've never blown my paint like this before. So it actually blew around pretty good. I just didn't put enough because I'm kind of reserving some of this for my ring around, you know, my colors. I didn't make enough white, clearly. So I will just fidget with my edges. It's so weird because I can't even use my squeeze bottles because those have um, Floetrol in them. So that is... That's weird too, that I can't use my squeeze bottles. So I'm gonna be so curious to see how this is gonna turn out. Like, watch it be like one of my best pours ever. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know, might, might not. All right, okay. Okay, I've saved, I'm pretty sure I saved enough in there. All right, let me pop the bubbles because there's a lot of bubbles in here because I literally just mixed this up with water. Um, so there's definitely a lot of bubbles, air bubbles in here. So let's pop all those with the torch. Holy cow, there's a lot of bubbles in here. And a Juno hair. A little monkey hair. He lost a tooth today. He's so cute. He's losing his baby teeth. Okay. This should be interesting. All right. Um, colors I am using tonight are Ultramarine Blue by Liquitex Basics. Uh, Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics. I have Deep Magenta by Artist Loft, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics, and finally this Primary Blue by Liquitex Basics. So let's 
see what happens. All right. So, wow. It's so much more watery than I'm used to. That's crazy. All right. Wow. It just like pours out like water, which is I'm sure the way it's supposed to be. I do think my regular paints with my Floetrol are a little on the thick side. Um, they could actually probably be watered down a bit more. But if this turns out really good, then maybe I'll just add water to all my squeeze bottles and uh, thin it all up. Wow, those colors look pretty cool. Question is, how is it gonna turn out when I'm done? All right, scrape my cup here and pour my white around. Good, I saved enough. I'll save just a bit in there just in case I need it for my edges. Which, if worst case, I do need it for my edges, I'll just use the squeeze bottle, no big deal. All right, let's pop those bubbles again. Okay, I'm very excited to see what happens. Let's move that over. Okay, guys, let's see what happens. <laughs> See, that has never happened before um, with my hair dryer blowing the paint so far because my paint has never been that thin before. So maybe I should have, maybe I'll do it on um, low instead of high because that just like psh, totally um, squirted paint everywhere, which that has never happened to me. All right, so I'm going to go low and see what happens. Low, Canelo, low. No, it's not going anywhere. Back to high. <laughs> what happened? That is like a lot of white. Where, where did all my color go? Holy cow, it just like disappeared under all the white. Okay, yeah, no, let me torch it, but there's nothing gonna come out of there. Yeah, no, no, I, I clearly, I'm not, that did not work, clearly. Easy to blow. Oh, <laughs> oh shoot. Ah, oh, poop. <laughs> okay, that's it. No more water. No more water. Oh my god. I can't believe I just did that. I just literally blew paint everywhere. I'm so not used to that. That is crazy. All right, sorry. I gotta clean this off before it dries and then it just doesn't come off. Uh, I can't believe that. I just blew paint everywhere oh my god that is too funny okay clearly that did not work for me um psh, yeah not even like i can't even see the colors like they're hiding under the white so that's it i'm done i think i'll go that way just to make a mess over there i can't believe that Well, there's the color. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother to sit here, waste my time blowing and getting all lightheaded. So there's no point in that. I can't believe that, that is hilarious. Wow. Okay. 
That was too funny. And I was not expecting that. Well, I will stick to what I know. And what I know is Floetrol and paint. So let's try that again, shall we? Man, I just splattered paint everywhere. That is insane. Sorry, Dinska, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Clearly, I need my thicker paint. All right. Okay, round two. Maybe I should get some new paper towel. Alrighty. Okay. Let's put the lid on that so I don't have an accident. Okay. Let's get the edges covered because there's some blue showing through here. We don't want that. Oh, Juno is playing with daddy. <laughs> I think they're playing tug of war. Okay, good. Torch it up. All right. I can still see blue here and I don't like that. So we do that. Anywhere else? Here, here. All right. Okay, so let's try that again, but with my regular flow trial colors. So We'll go blue, followed by yellow. I always clean the tips off because there might be gunk um, on the tip and I, I don't want that landing in, in my canvas or on my canvas. So, all right, magenta. Yeah, see like, there's like dried gunk on there. You definitely don't want any of that um, squirting into your paints. And what did I do next? Dioxazine purple. Okay. And I know I didn't add this in the last one, but I'm gonna add some copper by Artist Loft. And then I'll add the blue on top. That is a lot of colors, guys. All right. And the blue. Okay. Cross your fingers that this works out. I kind of did that really high up in the middle, didn't I? Oh well. All right, let's pop the bubbles. And let's do this round two. All right. Holy color explosion. <laughs> what? Oh my God. See? Floetrol, baby. I love Floetrol. I just couldn't do it the other way. Oh my God. Look at what is going on here. I cannot believe my eyes. What? Okay. I am just going to blow the bottom here. Stop moving. 
stop moving. All right. Holy cow, I cannot believe this. Wow. I see, like, I mean, I'm so glad I put that copper in there. That is insane. Just, holy cow. Okay. I'm gonna flip it back, but I'm gonna just add white here because I can see some blue. And I can see some blue here. Perfect. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God. Wait till you see up close what I see. There's like literally red, orange, yellow, green, and blue in here. Like literally the whole rainbow is right here. And you know what? I'm not even gonna torch that because I'm afraid that a ton of teeny, teeny, tiny cells are gonna pop up and that color is just gonna disappear. So, I am going to turn it around back to the way it was. Wow, I'm so happy with this. Wow. I'm just blowing a lot of the excess white off. Because if there's a lot of white, um, it might pull the rest of the paint down with it. Although now I can see some blue. So you win some, you lose some. All right, there, I fixed it. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Watch, watch. Okay, hold on. Yeah, make sure it focuses. Look at that oh my god i'm holding my phone so tight so that i don't drop it in the painting look at that that is so like that's my favorite part here we go here we go look at that i like it what do you think about that wow i'm really liking that so that is it, redo Dutch pour. So let me know what you think, guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post new videos. Um, I also have all my social media links below. Um, if you're in on Instagram, Facebook, or on Pinterest, please go and check it out and follow me there as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And I have my Amazon links for those of you who wanna buy all the stuff I buy on Amazon. I have an Amazon shop for the US and Canada. So check it out. And my PayPal link for anyone who would love to donate. Any amount helps tremendously. Um, there's nothing, you know, don't think if you donate five bucks or 10 bucks or 50 bucks, cause I've had all kinds of denominations and every little bit helps and it is greatly appreciated so until next time pray for me that this dries just like this because this is stunning and i'm gonna have to do it again uh with the same colors and see what else kind of results i get so that's it for now guys thanks for watching have a good night or morning or afternoon take care bye